How can you be saved from your sins, reconciled to God? Put your faith in the grace and love of God. Trust in what Jesus has done for you, paying the price for your sin on a cross, rising in victory over sin and death from the grave. And faith like that, faith like that comes how? Romans 10, 17, from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. So the word of God is sufficient to show you and me how to be saved from our sins. Sufficient to bring us into relationship with God forever. And then, so take another step. The Bible is sufficient for our sanctification. And that, so follow, this is the purpose of the Bible. The purpose of the Bible is not to answer every question we may ask. So what does the Bible say specifically about raising teenagers? Now, sure, there's different principles we see in Scripture, but the Bible is not a parenting teenager's how-to book. Similarly, the Bible doesn't tell us everything about how to manage money or walk through grief or deal with divorce. The purpose of the Bible is not intended. It's not intended to answer every question we ask, provide direction for every situation we may face. But the purpose of the Bible is something far better than those things. The purpose of the Bible is to conform us into the image of Christ. So when we're saved, when we trust in God's grace in Christ to save us from our sins, at that point, we receive a new heart. We're a new creation, almost like we've been born all over again. And this begins a process by which the Spirit of God, through the Word of God, begins transforming us more and more and more into the image of Christ. Sanctification. Starts with the heart of Christ in us, works out from there. He transforms our minds to be more like the mind of Christ. So the more we read the Word under the leadership of the Spirit, the more we think like Christ. When we understand who God is, how God works, how God calls us to, to live, which then leads us to live differently. That's the goal of the Bible, to see Christ formed in us, to see our hearts tra- transformed in a way that then changes, transforms our mind, our will, and what we look like is the body of Christ. The Bible is sufficient to bring all of that about, to conform us in the image of Christ and to bring us in a step with the Spirit of Christ. So the more we become like Christ, The more we're in tune with the Spirit of Christ. This is the purpose of the Bible, to save and sanctify us, to bring us into the image of Christ more and more and more in our lives. And that is our greatest need, and the Bible alone is sufficient to meet that need. We must not add anything to Scripture. We must not elevate anything to the authority of Scripture. Why not? Because the Bible is sufficient. Sure, any number of other books might be helpful, but... Ladies and gentlemen, mark it down. This is the only book we need.